Hi, what's up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to a new video. Today's another thrift video. I mean, this is becoming a thrift exclusive channel. <laughs> so anyways, I went on Vinted and well, basically, let me just, let me just, let me just rewind. So the way that I shop on Vinted, this is a fully Vinted haul, right? So what I do is I spend hours and hours scrolling on the app, like finding stuff, putting in keywords. What do I want? What am I trying to find? You know, just sometimes going in like the recommended like for you section as well to see what Vinted was recommending to me. And then I just spent hours on there favoriting stuff. I don't buy anything. I don't buy a single thing. I just favorite things. And then there will be one night, <laughs> probably usually late at night, maybe like maybe midnight, maybe 2 a.m. Who knows that where I will go through my favorites folder and basically do a shopping spree of like things that I want. So I've had some time to think about it. And I'm like, yes, I need that. Yes, I need that. Yes, I need that. So here we have a Vinted huge vintage haul of things that I've gotten recently, probably within the last week or so. There's just getting deliveries every day, every day, every day. First of all, can we just take a minute for my makeup? Because I did a cherry girl look with the, the lip and you know, the dramatic eyes. And let me know what you guys think, Pose Repeat Beauty, <laughs> get on it. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, all my beauty stuff is on there. And anyways, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And I hope you enjoy this thrift video. So let's get started and see what I got. Okay, so let's begin with some shoes because the amount of like amazing shoes that I've been finding on Vinted lately is kind of insane. I don't even buy shoes new anymore. Like I just like vintage boots, anything that's like anything that I want, flats, ballet flats. Let's talk about ballet flats. They're a big trend right now. And honestly, I think they're kind of like here to stay. Back in the day when I, which I remember very clearly ballet flats, that was when I was in high school and I think the problem was that that trend on what went on for so long and that's why it became so saturated. They're kind of a staple shoe. They're flats, they're comfortable, they're, they're a nice like um, alternative to a sneaker because not all outfits go with sneakers and I feel like ballet flats, loafers, like I just feel like these are kind of staples. So I got these green ones, they are originally from Mango and they cost me like five pounds or something like they were very cheap and they're basically brand new like they haven't been worn and I love the color, I just feel like this is such a pretty color that it goes with so many things in my closet already, like the green we love. Let's leave a couple of shoes for now, but let's move on to some clothes. So I got this really, really pretty white top and you know, it's very summer vibes and we're obviously going into winter, but you know, I have to build up my summer closet now. Yeah, but I feel like this is really pretty. I don't know, it's just such a cute like feminine, soft girl aesthetic kind of top. And I feel like, you know what? I feel like I could wear it in the winter. I'm really trying to convince myself right now. How can I wear it in the winter? Let's discuss, let's debate. I think I could wear it with jeans and a really big coat. Like let's say I'm going to someone's house and it's gonna be warm, like the, the heater's gonna be on. I can just wear a big coat over this, wear a few layers, a cardigan, wear this top. And then once I get to that person's house, I can just take everything off and the top will be, there we go guys. I can, I can style this for winter, done, okay. Okay, so next we have this skirt, which I think is actually really suitable for autumn, which we're currently still in. And I just really love it. It's from Pe Pepe, Pe 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 Pepe jeans. I don't know, I feel like this material, what is this? I actually don't know, but I feel like this material is really nice for the autumn time. This with stockings and this with knee high boots. Perfect, honestly perfect. I just really was drawn to this piece because I don't know, I feel like it's kind of unique. It's got cool detailing. It's got the fraying at the bottom and like this kind of like detailing here. I'm into it. So I've been looking for like an off shoulder kind of like sweater type of thing for a while now, like at least a few months and I couldn't find one that I liked. And I honestly, I wanted one in a color, but I found this one, which is, you know, a cream beige color, which I don't mind. I can pair it with something colorful, like a colorful skirt, but I like this one. I feel like it's going to be a staple for me. I don't have enough long sleeve things in my wardrobe. So this is a nice addition to the closet. These two go really well together for like a neutral look, maybe with like a colorful coat. That's what I'm thinking. So next I got this corset top, which is a little bit big for me, can't lie. Uh, as soon as I opened up the package, I could tell that it was big for me. But you know, we can make it work, a pin in the back, whatever it may be. Again, a nice like night out evening, date night kind of top with jeans, that kind of vibe. Then I picked up this and I honestly wasn't sure how it was gonna go and whether I would like it, but I think it's cool. And I think it's a nice, again, it's a nice autumn like layering piece. It's like this pinafore dress and I don't have anything like this in my closet. So I would probably style this maybe with like a shirt or even I could layer it just and so that you could only see like the skirt bit. So I could wear like a jumper over the top or like a knit. There's stockings and boots, stockings and ballet flats, cute. Next, I picked up this purple skirt, which I think is such a unique piece and I really, really love it. It's like this grape color and it's got this frill detail at the bottom, like this meshy kind of sheer material, which I think is a really nice detail, frill kind of skirt. And it sits kind of like 
on my hips, like just below like my belly button, which I think is nice. And I think I could wear this for every single thing is like a summer piece that I've bought and I'm trying to convince myself that I could wear it in like the winter. So let me tell you how I'm gonna wear this, okay? So I'm gonna wear it with thermal leggings underneath. You won't even be able to tell, okay? And then I'll wear boots. Or I'll wear like really thick socks and some Doc Martens, like the, the low ones, or some loafers. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be cold. So then we have this really cute top. Again, a nice, like, I feel like an evening top. It's got this back detail, which is so me. Like, this kind of top is just what I live for. This crisscross back, I don't know. I just feel like it's so pretty and so chic and so feminine, and I love. I would say these two are kind of similar in terms of the color of the purple. I have more of a lilac in my closet, so I thought that this would be nicer, like a darker tone for the colder months. Next, we obviously know that red is a big trend, so I've gone for a couple of red pieces in this vintage shopping spree. So I got this skirt, which I think is actually so pretty and so cute. I think I will get a lot of use out of it just generally across the seasons because I can pair it with stockings, you know, for the colder months, but then like this is such a nice summer piece as well. Vacation summer piece or like London summer piece, I'm actually obsessed. So it's originally from Next, but it looks like really like old. Oh, also it's a kid's, it's a kid's size for 11 years old. I mean, that's where I find the best stuff. The girls, the young girls section. Okay, so keeping with the red theme, but we're moving on to more the cherry red trend, which is happening right now. So I got this bag. I basically was looking for something a little bit bigger to carry my laptop when I have like a lot of things to carry. So this one is a nice piece. It has some wear and tear in it because and it was so cheap that I obviously can't complain about it. But I love the color and I love the size. It can fit a lot of things, which I'm very happy about. And the, it's like the perfect like cherry red, like burgundy. Then we have these amazing flats. They are like the tabby shoes and I love like the heel is like perfect it's like a little bit of a heel but it's a block heel it's comfortable i need to get tabby socks or like stockings for these because otherwise i have to wear them bare for it because obviously i can't wear normal socks with them these are not real because the real ones are the maison Mangella uh ones which these are not i don't know where these are from but they were from vintage so dupes i guess Next we have this red cardigan, which has this little button clasp, which I think is really cute. And it's like the three quarter sleeve, which is a little bit different. Good layering piece for me. I need, need these kind of like tops and cardies for like autumn winter because you just need that stuff. Because I don't dress properly in the winter and I need to dress more smart and like with more layers. So that's why I've really focused on getting like long sleeve things, things that I can layer with, cardigans, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So the final thing that we have is these boots. Cherry red, and honestly, I was really unsure about how these would go because I wasn't sure about like this bit. Like, it's not like a trendy or like, do you know what I mean? It's just like the heel. This is very like old school. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it still. I feel like on, it looks it looks okay. Like, it, I, I'm, I'm happy with it on. But when I look at it like this, I'm like questionable. Like questionable way that they've done this heel. I just feel like it would have looked so much better with like a like a heel, like a gap here. But obviously this is more comfortable. It's like a flat form. And yeah, nice piece for the autumn time. And I feel like this is going to be one that's going to be in my closet for a while. Obviously the cherry red thing is like just a really big trend right now. But burgundy, like this kind of color is always, always like coming back like every autumn. We call it cherry red. We call it something different every single season, but it's the same thing. So these kind of pieces have longevity, even though they are a little bit of a trend right now. I just got home and I had one last um, vintage delivery like in my mailbox and it's so pretty. I have to show you. Like I can't not include this in the haul. Okay, let me just put it on because it's so pretty. It's such a nice like layering piece. Oh my God. Look at this, like a little lace, like cardi top thing. How beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, look, this is the back. I'm actually obsessed, like perfect, amazing vintage piece. This is like the type of stuff I love. So that's everything that I got from my massive vintage shopping spree. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul. If you want to see more thrift content or if you want to let me know what other topics and things you want to see then leave it in the comments below so for fashion content you can find me on instagram and pinterest and tiktok at post and repeat for beauty content you can find me on tiktok and instagram at post and repeat beauty check out my youtube shorts there's a bunch of fashion beauty travel everything on there and um i think that's everything that i have to tell you and i love you guys so much thank you so much for the support and hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video bye